After historic flash flooding last week, Death Valley National Park remains closed tonight. Today, park rangers escorted our camera crew to get a first-hand look at why. Kim Passoff is here now with that. Kim? So it is not just the park that saw a lot of damage from the recent monsoon storms, but roads throughout that region. But inside the park, access roads to popular places could take months, even a year to fix. A photographer documents the power of Mother Nature. At Daylight Pass, deep in the park, floodwaters redesigned the road, layering chunks of asphalt. 50 to 70 pound pieces swept away, washed deep into the desert. It was definitely a historic event. The park has been closed for days <laughs> due to the historic rains and flash flooding. It will remain closed until roads are once again safe to drive. We are still in the assessment phase. Law enforcement has roads blocked, but our crew was escorted by park rangers to survey the damage. One major problem, dust clouds from the dirt on the road kicked up by cars, making it hard to see while driving. And some roads have debris all the way to the center line. Other than road crews, the park sits empty. The normally bustling Furnace Creek Visitor Center deserted. Summer is uh, surprisingly busy here in Death Valley. It's, uh, August is often our second busiest month. Summers normally reach 110 or 115 degrees even at midnight. So most visitors drive through just for a day. Park rangers say that is fortunate. No one was out camping or hiking during the flash flood. As our crews continue to remove debris from the highway, we are uncovering more spots where there is damaged pavement, more undercutting and more shoulders that will need to be repaired. Meanwhile, Caltrans is now working overtime on repairing Highway 190. There is a lot of mud, of rock that is just piled up on the highway that we have to get out of there. So far, we've cleaned up about 20 miles worth. The next 10 miles, though, is going to be the most difficult spot. This is where the where the mud is the deepest. And Caltrans is hoping to get that main road through the park. Highway 190 cleared as soon as one week from tomorrow. Kim, thanks. And park rangers warn that Google Maps and other navigation apps have some of the road closures in the area incorrect. People are being guided onto dirt roads that are closed. So bottom line, don't rely on your GPS in Death Valley right now.